as presented in a thumbnail of the video we have the possibility to import wrl files directly within solidworks i have loaded a 3d statue so this was generated using um, a scanner from artec i will also link the the file in the video this is the artec 3d uh, database i also use the same uh, the same model within the video that presents uh, the file format so wrl file format where i talk about various aspects regarding this within blender and we see that solid has a possibility to import as we can see within the documentation these files can display 3d graphics over the internet so it's mostly a legacy file format as we can see over here so uh, there are two versions version 1 in 94 released and version 2 in 97 but both are quite uh, quite old now as for the case study this was imported just as a graphic element so that means we don't have the possibility to work direct directly with uh, with the mesh we can just visualize it that means uh, we can't go within the section so even though i have the model added over here if i will try to to go within a section i will see that um, i can only check this graphic only section but i won't have the possibility to to section the model so that's one of the the drawbacks as we can see within the documentation we have this over here so we are able to import um, these files within solid but in many cases especially for complex model such as the the model that uh, i i'm using as a case study the data does not meet into a usable solid so how do we access these um, options if you want our mesh to be knitted so that it will be solid then we can also section that i'm gonna close this uh, session and i will go up to file open and over here i'm already within that same folder and we see that um, when solid also opens a wrl files it will automatically create a backup of that uh, within solidors as we can see these are those two files but this is the original mesh and if i'm gonna select it i will go to options within options for the uh, section regarding uh, system option so this includes also stl um, and also other formats like uh, obj which is most most common we have the possibility to change some of the settings for example if i want this to have it imported as a solid body i can click on that and also if you want the texture of not we have this checkbox and if i will select the model so the same model but i selected that i would like solid to convert this and knit all the surface to a solid body we're gonna see that for some complex model we're gonna receive a warning as we can see solidworks uh, notifies within this window that this model has too many surface try opening with the graphic body option so just like i uh, had it already loaded before also if we are gonna add import texture information this will also take a lot more time to process and um, if you only want it to have it like a surface body that we can cut and trim with you have the possibility to import this as a surface body but in this case for the original 3d model available on artec uh, database this will also be to uh, have let's say much much more complex geometry and it solidworks won't be able to have that process as we can see it's still loading 
but afterwards we're gonna see how we can reduce this mesh and how we can have it again imported the, the other version the simplified decimated version so we see that solid is still importing so we didn't receive that warning anymore so maybe the software will be able to to have this converted while SOLIDWORKS will process i will also open this folder and as you can see i also created uh, this decimated model so this is uh, only only about one megabyte and also decimated too okay and again we see that um, even for the surface model it says that there are too many surface and uh, it won't be able to have that saved so for the decimated models i made use of geomagic so if i'm gonna drag and drop the initial mesh this is that initial mesh but it also asks for the texture in order to visualize it within uh, windows uh, 3d viewer we're gonna see that we have the the statue over there and with drag and drop i'm gonna have the model loaded within geomagic you're gonna set this to millimeters and we're gonna see that geomagic since this is a specialized software for reverse engineering will open the file um, quite fast and we see the current triangle number um, on the left bottom section i will go to decimate and for this case let's say i will reduce this to a percentage of um, of two i will click on apply now geomagic will start decimating the model as we can see it already managed to decimate it but a lot of details were lost within this uh, decimate but we have a current uh, triangle uh, count of 5000 so i'm gonna go with ok I will also go to tools i will generate the texture for this model i don't want such a um, large texture so i will have it rescaled to something around two megabytes i will apply the texture on the newly generated mesh and now i will have this exported so i'm gonna go on the same uh, folder i will call this i also select the second version so this one with two the more recent one i will call this decimated three and if i'm gonna take a look at the folder we're gonna see that we also have the decimated unwrap texture which is this one and we're also gonna have the model so decimated three if i'm gonna double click on the model we see that the windows uh, default um, software for uh, for 3d models will be able to visualize the model so this is the model there are quite uh, large uh, triangles because of the decimation but we are able to have the model loaded the only problem is that within solidworks if we try to open the model created within geomagic it doesn't properly open the model so i selected that i want a solid body import also a texture i selected a newly decimated tray file tree file and as we can see uh, we received this warning failed to process file maybe empty file or container supported geometry so this is quite weird because if i try to open the model with another software like for example 3ds max just like the um, the software for 3d printing within windows it will also be able to have the model open so 3ds max should start we have the software up and running and we see that uh, decimated 3 this will be the model i will close that if i'm gonna open the model we see that 3ds max has started to import the decimated file and we're gonna have the model as well as a camera generated so 
if I'm gonna press F9, we're gonna see that there is no texture associated to the model, but we can manually recreate that. I'm gonna press M for material. I will go to scan line. I will choose standard. And within the diffuse mapping, I will go for a bitmap. And again, I will go up to, to download folder, quick access download. We're going to have the bronze statue. And I'm going to select the decimated tree image that was created by Geomagic. And I will have this apply to the model. So the only drawback is that 3ds Max no longer supports file export for um, WRL file format. As we can see, that is no longer an available option. So the only solution to have this transferred, if it has been processed and we want the texture, would be to use either an OBJ file for software like uh, Fusion or SolidWorks, or we can make use of um, Autodesk FBX file if you want to have this exported for Blender or Cinema 4D or for Unity or Unreal Engine. OBJ will also work for those, but FBX will also include other properties. Okay, so mainly I wanted to create this video because SolidWorks has a possibility to import meshes like WRL, which is something that Katia V5 doesn't. So we can add other file formats within Katia, but we cannot add WRL files with texture. So that's uh, one of the drawbacks of Katia. Katia V5. Okay, so if you also only want to add some models as graphical references that you can build around within Solid, you can easily do that using WRL files. Okay, I hope that you find this, this video useful. I try to create content regarding uh, various 3D software file conversion and uh, having the same model imported to, to various software and see how they will react, how they will process that, um, that model. Okay, thanks for watching.